Hi guys, so we finally have the Summoner's War massive update developers note. Uh, we have the live stream today just like, um, what, 3-4 hours ago? 5 hours ago. Okay, so let's take a look at the developers note. Developers note. New dungeon and artifact. When you think of artifact, of course you think of the other games, right? Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Okay, greetings from Summoner's War development team, blah, blah, blah. We have everyone doing great. Okay, okay, okay. Now, new Dimension Hole Dungeon, Dimension Predator. Okay, so this is the, the dungeons, the dungeon that appear in Dimension Hole. Uh, this you can clear only once a month. Okay, and it's just uh, like uh, a stages, like in Kairos. Yeah, it says here, it's a dungeon with high difficulty level that requires manual battle. But luckily, we only have to do it only once a, once a month, so it's kind of okay, I guess. So it has four waves, just like the Kairos dungeon's uh, battles, right? Mid-boss wave, and then you have the final boss, which has three phases. Okay, and what it says here is, the monsters entering the battle will have a buff that's a uh, increase the basic only the basic attack doesn't take into account the runes so the basic stats will be increased by 10 times so this is i think this is um as they say as they said on their live stream so that new player can also enter this dungeon because if the base stats increase by 10 times you it doesn't matter about how good the rune is because it will be like minimal in terms of the like percentages as They'll show it later, I, I, I would assume, right? Okay, the dungeon is a monthly dungeon. Play once a month, okay. Its dimension battle and limit condition will apply at the same. At the same. Okay, so, so the dungeons appear in the dimension hole. It rotates between the current available dungeons. So there's three with different sets of limitations to enter the dungeon. So that limitation will apply in this dimension hole dungeon, I would assume. Uh, but you can enter the, this new new dungeon with five monsters okay uh, it says here in case of dimensional lumel, lumel which is the default star grade of monster is 15 or below it will be changed because now you use five definitely you can't use 15 or lower probably 20 or 22 i don't know i don't know but they say a separate entrance limit condition will be applied afterwards okay and you use dimension hole energy to enter this dungeon okay okay now uh, here's what they meant by the 10 times space attack. This, if you compare this, the one on the left is uh, like a beginner's rune. The one on the right is like uh, more endgame player runes, a six star legendary runes type. Okay, so that's a. I mean, I mean, in terms of percentages, uh, it's like 500, 450k attack on the Lucian might be a lot, but when you when the basic stats you times tens it but the percent the percentage of the difference is not that high so it really the rune set really doesn't matter that much but i think you for the crit rate and crit damage maybe you want to have crit rate and crit damage so that at least you can crit and do damage to the boss so probably i mean for attacker you probably want to rage runes right rage and blade Maybe, probably. Oh wait, you still have real runes. Well, I don't know. We'll take a look at the boss stats later. But I mean, it's like a five star run or six star run doesn't make that much of the difference in terms of the total amount of the stats. But you still need crit rate and crit damage. That's accuracy of resistance also. Okay, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and now let's take a look at the boss skill. Okay, these are the boss skill. This is the first stage, I guess. Touch of exploitation. Inf oh my god, ignore damage. Default attack, ignore damage. Okay. Endless pain is attack all enemies. AoE grants two continuous damage without a turn limit each. Oh. Dots. That has no turn limit. So you have, if you don't cleanse the dots, you will always have. Uh, poison, like some sort of poison on your team. 
Okay, this is passive grudge X eruption and energy bead is activated when another boss is attacked five times. When three energy beads are activated, the energy is released instantly to attack the enemy target. So every five attack, the one this is like um, the giants. If you attack the giant seven times, he, he will counter attack. So this is like you attack the boss five times, you will be counter attacked by three energy beads. Yeah, okay. Dimensions Transcendence, the boss is immune to okay. So Lauren doesn't work. You can't decrease. You can't put glancing. Glancing effect. Okay. Also the effect of the attack that's proportional to Oh you can't use like lint or something that do uh, uh proportional to the boss max hit points it's weakened so you won't do that much damage i guess but i don't know how much weakened is the weakened here okay so every time you there's three places of the uh, final boss so soul clone is every time when you kill the boss it clones the soul of the enemy with a high with the high attack power and enemy i think it's highest highest attack power and enemy with high defense to create two illusions so it creates two mini minions i think two minions on the side and the boss attack tower will be increased greatly if you fail. Oh, so you have to defeat these minions in 25 turns or defeat the boss in between 25 turns. If not, the boss will uh, have increased the attack power greatly. Uh, clone soul is activated when the dimension predator HP is at 17. Wait, wait. When a new phase begins. Oh, when here. Well, I don't get it. Is the new phase at 70 and 40 percent? Hmm, okay. Watch your eyes. Phase 2 additional skill. Attack all enemies and monitor all enemies for one turn. If an enemy gets a turn while being monitored, still... Ooh, wait. So that means if you use the, when you use this skill, every time you get a turn, it, it reduces your H points by 10 percent and it, it heals itself by 10 percent. Okay. Uh, phase 3 is Curse of Rage, curses the enemy that inflicted the most damage for 3 turns. Okay, this is just like the Necropolis skill. But this one is, it curses the enemy. Uh, well, it, when you curse the enemy, you do 2 times. The, the one that's getting cursed, do twice damage to the boss, but will be killed when the curse ends. So that's in 3 turns, you are dead. Okay! Okay, that seems interesting. A battle against Dimension Predator will cost you. Okay, this is. Okay, okay, let's, let's look at the rewards. That's the skill. Seems like pretty hard boss. Okay, Dimension Predator Dungeon Rewards. Okay, when you clear the Dimension Predator Rewards, two types of reward box will be given. Okay, the first one is a guaranteed 6 star legendary ancient runes with fixed main property and sub properties. So, this is, these are fixed. So, the first one, I think they said it will appear in Dimension Kazan. So, it will consist of runes that you can get from the rune set that you can get from Dimension Kaizen. So these are the five runes. I think these are fixed. So the first time when the update is live and you, when the first time you defeat the Dimensional, this new boss, I don't know what is, what's the name, you get these five. Everything seems nice. Right? But energy runes, speed slot 2, HP, HP. I mean, the, 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 the substats make sense. I mean, it's okay. I mean, the rage rune is. I, I like the rage rune. Attack percent slot two with speed and crit rate on the subsets. It has hit point percent, so it's it's decent. The blade also quite nice with speed and crit. I mean, the subsets make sense, so that's all I can say. Then for the hit points also, it reduces accuracy, resistance, attack. Yeah, it, it makes sense. The subset all makes sense, but too bad it doesn't have in it. But all are very good runes. I don't know whether they change or not. I mean, this is the first time, but then they return to the next dimension hole and it will come back to this Karzan again. Will it be the same five runes or will, will, will they will change every time? I wonder. Okay, but everybody is going to have this five choice. Uh, if I read this correctly, everyone will have the same five choice the first time we defeated the boss. Okay, so next. And you can only do this once a month, so... It's like an event, everybody get a free rune as long as you can defeat the boss. And I think everybody will be able to defeat the boss, even the new 
new um, new players because well it says that everyone will have access to defeat this boss right as long as you have the monsters that's basically it i guess summoners can choose one or okay okay and then the second reward is you can have ancient grindstone or ancient germ ancient magic stone rune or or and ancient magic origin okay so this this is all good okay good 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 and blah 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 okay next next we have new dungeons in chaos new dungeons with artifacts this one that gives out artifacts no new runes just artifacts but, but the artifacts are kind of like new runes set okay so let's take a look here the first one is the steel fortress i think the steel fortress is a wind dungeon okay let's take a look at the skill okay the default skill is steel fist aoe attack decrease attack speed okay Thunder Blow attacks the enemy target three times, decrease uh, decrease attack by 30%. Enemy, oh. Okay. Stun, decrease attack bar. Okay, this is annoying. But it's a single target for the second skill. Okay, the passive is whenever the enemies, whenever the enemy's five, fifth turn ends, attack a random enemy with, oh, you, you move five times, he will attack. He will counter attack with Thunderbolt. Attacks up to four times in proportion to the boss attack power, and the attack will never. Okay, Neverland has a glancing stun. <coughs> Sorry about that. Stun the enemy with 25% chance per beneficial effect getting of the boss. Stuns the enemy two turns when the boss lands a critical hit. Okay. And another passive is increase the boss attack power and critical rate for one turn when each turn begins and grants a shield equivalent to 10%. Okay, increase defense. Wait, so many buffs! Initially, the, the, the damage received from the damage decreased by the damage. Whoa! Well, you need, a, you need a stripper then against this boss, definitely. Wow, so many buffs! Attack power, crit rate, defense, seal. Wow. Ancient Tormentor, the boss of seal bosses, a strong defensive ability. Yeah. Just like its heavy appearance, okay. Ancient Tormentor, yeah, grants 4 beneficial effect on itself. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, then let's take a look at Punisher Crypt. This one is the Light Dungeon. Looks cool, right? This one also looks cool. Like a uh, huge robots. Okay, Dance of Sword. Okay, AoE again. Okay, AoE attack. Decrease attack bar by... Okay. Okay, these two new boss is like Laurent. Can decrease attack bar? Okay. Attack the enemy target seven times. Absorb the attack bar by wait what? Absorb the attack bar by twenty percent each. Wait, you attack five times. You already absorb hundred percent of your attack bar. This is like over absorb. <laughs> okay. Skill will be enhanced as follows: When the ancient punisher gains the designated turn, fifth turn, number of attacks will increase to t oh up to three times. Ten turn. Damage will increase by <laughs> okay. 15 turn attacks will oh my god, 15 turn will not enemies depend up to 100% according to the attack speed. And the other fast is the damage, re the damage received from enemy will be decreased up to 70% according to mm. wait, attack speed. Wait, attack speed of the the boss, right? Gains and gains a turn in when the boss is granted will decrease attack bar effect. Wait a second. Decrease attack bar. So if you d reduce his attack bar, he gains a turn instantly. So that means you can you can reduce the attack bar. What? Okay, so Lauren is not good. Ancient Punisher has passive skill that gets stronger as the boss gets a turn. Okay, so you need to kill him quickly. Okay. Mm Okay, Punisher, yeah, Punisher Crib is light, steel is wind. These two dungeons can serve 10 floor with 4 wish. Okay, the bosses have, okay, 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 now, rewards. You can farm artifacts. Okay, what are artifacts, as you can say? Artifacts is new equipment that increase attack, defense, or HP, but flat. It's flat, it's not, it's not percentage. But the interesting part of this is it grants additional effect with new type of sub properties. It's not substats, it's sub properties. We'll we'll see about them later. Artifacts are divided into attribute artifacts. So you can have two artifacts per monster. One is the attribute, that means the elements, and one is the type, which is like uh, the HP, support, um, attack, and tank. I think. Wait, what? Uh, wait. Let's see. Wait. 
HP attack. HP attack support defense. Oh yeah, that's four. Okay. Uh, there's no tank, and you can equip one one of each two monsters. Yeah, so you can have two artifacts per monsters. One is attribute, one is type. Okay, so attribute type it consists of fire, water, light, dark. Okay, 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 okay. Type artifact is it consists of attack, defense, HP. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I said. Okay, these are the sub properties. As you can see here, it's very interesting. This is an example of them. Okay. Now, artifact, the main property will always be hit points, attack, defense, flat. It's flat. Default value, power value, the maximum value. So, nice, nice. Uh, the, app, the artifact sub properties, it's, uh, it doesn't have stars. You only have the type. So, you have normal, magic, rare, hero, and legend. It doesn't have like one, one star, two star, three star, four star, and five star, or six star. You will only have the type. The grade, the grade. Okay, the grade. Also, artifact will have either a new sub property. Uh, this is the same as runes. Every time you power up to plus three, plus six, plus nine, plus twelve, you gain another sub properties. If you are not already a legend or hero or whatever, right? Okay, okay. These are the characteristics that we have. Type artifact. Type artifact is uh, attack defense thingy, right? The type artifact categorized by skill number. Skill one, two, three. Crit damage by how certain percent, recovery accuracy by certain percent, default is 3 to 6%, max when you power up at 15 it will be 30 because it can increase by 4 times, right? And you have the default 6, yeah, max is 30%. It's nice, you can have additional 30% crit damage. Okay. Nuker will do more damage. Attribute Artifact characterized by attribute damage dealt on oh okay damage dealt on fire water wind and light dark units I would assume can be increased by twenty percent and you can have reduced damage from oh this is interesting okay this actually has a lot of customization involved but it will be a pain to farm the correct artifacts with the correct sub properties that you want to use on your. <laughs> On your monster, wow, more farming. Oh well. And then common artifact type and attribute. You can have attack defense speed increase proportional to lost hit points up to 30%. So you as you lost hit points, your attack or defense or speed increase. Okay. Increase or increase attack or defense effect by 20. Ooh, this is nice. Increase speed. Okay, increase speed. I want that, of course, right? Increase speed by 30% is quite nice. That's like an extra swift run. If you can get at 30%, swift run is only at 25. So, whoa. Those fast units will be faster. <laughs> increase crit rate effect. Maximum is 30. Oh, this is nice. Damage job by counter attack. Okay, Miho, Rakan comes to mind. Atomio. Oh, wait. The max is only 15%, but they are. Still extra damage. Damage dealt by attacking together. Okay. Bomb damage increased by 15%. Okay. Life drained. That means like vampire by 15%. Hit points when revived. Additional 15%. Oh, this is nice. That's a lot of customization. Attack bar. Oh, attack bar when revived. But only 50% max though. But still. Damage deal by reflect damage increase. Okay. Additional da damage by how many percent of hit points? How many percent? Oh. Okay, this is new. Additional damage by how many percent of speed? 20. Oh my god. Imagine if you have increased speed effect and then additional damage by 200% of speed. And then you have speed buff. Oh baby. Damage received under invalid effect reduce. Speed under invalid effect increase. So if you are, when you're stunned, you gain more speed. Receive crack damage, reduce crushing hit damage, increase. Okay, that's interesting. There's so many. Oh, there's so many customization. Oh my god. Uh, say goodbye to your IRL life. Mm, you need to farm in 24 hours now, I guess. So many properties. Yep, there's so many properties. Uh, new dungeon art artifact drop. So you can have legend on B9 and B10. So you're gonna go for B9 and B10 then to get those legendary artifact right how to make artifact okay okay so this one is like the grindstone and gemstones on artifacts but you don't have reapp yet but they do say on the live stream they don't consider reapp so we don't know 
how uh, I mean you never know okay so artifact you can same as runes you can um, change one of the sub properties with like grindstone thing so that's conversion and then you can grind it right select one property and change it to a fixed one wait random one and fixed one I don't get it random one and fixed one wait oh no it's only change I thought you can only do this at plus 12 Hmm. Select one random property and change it to a random one. Okay, I don't really under I thought this one is like gemstone and grindstones. Conversion can be preceded by using conversion zones that are dropped in new dungeons. Okay, the amount of conversion zones used will increase gradually when you use conversion zone on one artifact. Wait. Artifact is divided to normal and special and only artifact with power can be converted. Okay. It seems like how you do with runes. Okay, so normal conversion is the mo select one property and change it to a random one. Oh, oh, okay. So that means you can only change it, but you can't add value to it. It's only like gemstones. Uh, this one is random, so you don't know what you get. But the special one, you know what you get. Hmm, is that it? Okay. To craft engraved conversion stones, conversion drop and monsters are needed as material? Wait, legend D4 5 star? Conversion stone one, one per month? What the? I don't have... What? D4 5 star? You need to sacrifice your dupes? 5 star? Well, but you, you can use D4 4 star, you can still get legend from it. So, most probably i mean d4 five star i'd rather go for ancient crystal to shop for the legendary runes or grindstone and gemstones right i'll take my chances with d4 five uh, four star because you can still get legend and you can do it three times per week d4 three star you can also use it but it'll be rare and hero okay 10 times per week okay that's interesting in addition, engraved conversion will be crafted at random depending on the type and attribute of the material of the monsters. Oh, if you use fire or HP monster as material, either fire engraved conversion stone or hit point. Oh, so that means you only use it on the type of stone or the uh, the type of artifact or the the attribute artifact. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, but at least you can change the sub properties to a more decent one, right? Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, property. Th this is all. You, that means you. Uh, okay. Okay. And you can use these artifacts in War now, by the way. Okay, so Kairos Dungeon Improvement. So now. Um, this will be changed, every, uh, all the level will be changed to water for giants and fire for dragons and necropolis will all be dark and of course the steel fortress and the the new one will be wind and light. Every level will have the same attributes so it's easier for newer player. And then we're gonna have B11 and B12. Okay, we add two more levels to the three uh, current Kairos dungeon, dungeons, right? Okay, for B1 and B12, we'll have higher difficulty level, we'll, we'll also we'll have better rewards. For B12, only 6 star runes will be drops. That's good. And the drop rate of 6 star legendary rune will be increased by 2.5 times. How many percent is the current drop rate? I, I wonder for legendary 6 star rune. But it will be increased by 2.5 times, so I'll take it. Okay, so B, this is how the runes drop is. For B11, you can still get 5 star rune. For B12, you can only get 6 star rune. Okay, that's good. Moreover, the drop rate of 6 star ancient legendary rune will be increased. Oh, one by 1.5 times dimension, dimension hole. Okay, that's good, I guess. Uh, it mentioned also about auto repeat battle. They are thinking about it, but we still won't get it. In the near future, I think. I don't know when we're gonna have auto repeat battle, but they're thinking about it. And uh, okay, so that's it for the developer's note. And I think 
I don't know when this this new massive update will be live but I assume it will be soon as they said they are in the last phase of testing so I hope it will be dropped sometimes next week because we are due to have an update actually but it doesn't mention of any two A's so probably they're gonna drop this uh, new update for the massive update first and then maybe next month we're gonna get 2A I don't see them dropping 2A and this new new massive update right but I'm excited about this especially the artifact one uh, Kairos Kairos farming okay uh, this one is uh, this the dimension hole boss or we only do it once a month we get runes that's like an, ev an event that we do once a month anyway so that's good but more farming in the Kairos dungeons two new boss and um, artifacts and all this uh, customization would be very interesting I wonder how the world right now will be after this update okay and of course they're gonna sell packs I think they're gonna sell packs for the new artifacts maybe not immediately maybe soon they're gonna come up with these artifacts uh, packs right okay tell me how you like these new changes to summoners war I'm excited more farming but i'm excited okay so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe bye